Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be breaking down the synopsis for Episode 20 of Season 3, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So, Episode 20 is titled Dark Side of the Moon, and as we've known for quite a while now, this is the episode where Kara and one are going to be leaving Earth and going to Argo City, so let's break down the synopsis. Supergirl is stunned to discover that that a part of Krypton has survived. Meanwhile, Alex is attacked while out with Ruby, and Lena considers how far she will go to keep Rain contained. So, it seems like in this episode, it's going to be a continuation from episode 19 that Lena still is in control of Rain and that Rain is contained because from the episode 19 photos. And so, as well, this synopsis gives us confirmation that Ruby is actually still alive, that in episode 18, where she's actually hunting her, she actually doesn't die. So, that's good news for Ruby so she's not dying anytime soon and Alex is okay but they're going to be attacked by someone and maybe it's Rain I don't think it's actually going to be Rain I really don't know who would actually attack them unless Rain has escaped so the big part of the synopsis that I want to talk about is Supergirl is stunned to discover that a part of Krypton survived so this is in fact Argo City and so somehow they're going to find out that Argo City is still in space somewhere that it's been ejected off of Krypton orbit and you know it's out there somewhere we have no idea where it is but the title is called Dark Side of the Moon and like I've previously theorized in other videos which I'll leave in the description below Dark Side of the Moon could mean that it's a literal thing that Argo City that we're going to be exploring in this episode with Kara and Monel specifically is actually on the dark side of a moon. It's orbiting around a moon, but somehow they're going to find out that this piece of land from Krypton has survived, and this will be the episode where we find out that Allura is actually alive and she did not die on Krypton. And I'm curious to see if Kara's dad's still alive, but we don't know about that. But I think Rain's Maker is actually going to be alive and well on Argo City and she's probably in prison or she's either on the run. We don't know about that, but that's just a rumour going into this episode. And so it's going to be specifically Kara and mon going and I know there's going to be some really, really good scenes between them as I've been told. We don't actually know about the specifics of what actually happens when we're on Argo City, but we know they stay until next episode and they return with Allura. So I'm actually super excited for this episode. The concept of Argo City being alive and well in space somewhere and Supergirl and one going off planet is just amazing on itself and then we still have the rain stuff and then we've got the Alex and Ruby stuff that people have been wanting for such a long time now and so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching tell me what you think of this synopsis and the idea of this episode in the comments below and I'll see you guys later goodbye Strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shark free.